What it do, Ed Crew? Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? I'm sorry, that shit was so crazy. Hey, my bad for the three-week delay. My ass was on vacation. Then when I did get back, I was going to commission to, you know, make that money bag and shit. But now we good. Finally ready to present you a new tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this glowing eye effect. Jumping straight into it, no more nonsense, no more talking, straight into the tutorial. First things first, what you need to have is the Sapphire plugin and the Deep Glow plugin. However you want to get it, get it, but you need it to execute this uh, glowing eye effect properly. I already have my clip uh, set down on the comp. My composition is 1920x1080, 24fps. As you see, I have uh, my clip right here. It's pretty, per like it's perfect for the eye effect because I don't believe he blinks here. Full on eye, no blinking, no fading, just straight up glowing. Duplicate your clip by using Control C, Control V to duplicate your layer. Now you wanna go to the first keyframe, hit this rotor brush tool, top left, guy holding a paintbrush as you see there. Now we're gonna double click our layer, which is our footage. We're gonna zoom in using the scroll wheel and to move around, you wanna click and hold on the scroll wheel to move. And now for this, I do have a rotor brush tutorial, so go check that out if you guys are new to it. But I'm basically going to roto his eye. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm I'm not going to roto his full-on eye. What I'm going to do is roto only his pupil. So here, I'm going to go closer to the middle because it's more perfect. So basically, what I'm going to do is just go over his pupil for both of these, for both eyes. And each time it goes, make sure the pink outline is surrounded his pupil and just his pupil. Now, after your full-on roto is complete, double-check. Make sure the outline is only on his pupil for the whole clip thing. And yeah, it looks good. Now, right after you're done with your roto, what you want to do is click freeze. See it right in front of you. It's in the middle of your screen. Just click that and let it freeze all the all the frames. So just in case you do end up messing around with the layers, your roto won't get touched. So now to double check, this is literally only his eyes, which is perfect. That's all we need. We just want his pupils. Now what we're going to do is go into the effects and presets area and type in soft, oh my bad, refine soft matte. We're going to click and drag that onto the eye layer. You're not really going to see much of a difference, but just copy these uh these settings here. So put this to 2, put your smooth to 12, and maybe your feather to 3. And that's about it for that. Basically what it does is just softens up the the roto so it's not too heavy and you don't see a lot of outlines on the glow. So next thing you want to do is search for Tritone, which is part of the Sapphire plugin. Now we want to put, you don't have to use um, Tritone in specific, but this is how I like to do it. I mainly like to use it because you're going to see why the way, the way the color and the shades and blending goes, is just perfect for this effect. Now for this, I'm going to do more of a red effect since it fits the vibe of the, of the video. Yeah. Just all you want to do is change the color one to your, uh, the color you'd like. Now you see the difference between this the black is still kind of black but it's more have a reddish shading and his like in the reflection on his pupil it's very heavily red now what we want to do after we added the tritone we want to add deep glow now you can use optical glow s glow or the normal glow default that comes with ae but i don't think it'll look the same i know optical glow will but i personally prefer deep glow you're gonna see why so if we just make it where this is just the eye Let's bump this up to 2.5 and we can also mess with the radius. You can bump it up to however much you want. Now, if we take a look, look at that. This looks a lot more cleaner rather than you was to just cover his whole eye and add like a fill and glow. It adds more, you know, it's just better overall. I don't even know what to say, man. It's just, this is better. And now we're going to spice it up a little bit. Now it's up to you to really like use your creative mind and you know just try to figure out what you want to do so yeah i'm gonna just I'm add a little heat wave onto the eyes so at let's add an adjustment layer if you don't have universe just ignore this part this is only if you have all the plugins so heat wave is part of the universe plugin what it does is basically replicates like fires how you see like it blurs and like wiggles and stuff like that that's basically what uh, heat wave is what we're gonna do we're gonna mask out near his eyes now after you track that make sure your masking is good for this and now we're just going to tweak with it. the heat wave settings turn. We can lower the blur amount a little bit and increase the heat intensity and maybe the flow speed a little bit. And then just mess with the feathering. I'll probably put like five for each. 
and it will be a small detail but it's very noticeable as you see towards his eyes it's like since it kind of looks like laser eyes it has that heat wave effect on it you obviously can be creative and add your your own spin to it but this is how to do this little glow eye effect but yeah that'll be it for this tutorial it was very short and simple very quick and easy if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like down below comment for more videos like this leave ideas down below and i will get to it if my schedule is a little iffy i do apologize i'm trying my best to be consistent but it is hard with going on but yeah that'll be it for this video